I'm like, hey, Bruce. I call him because he goes to, where did he go? AutoZone. I'm like, give me like five quarts because I need some for my car. He's like, I'll just give you the rest of mine. I'm changing my little idiot. And you saw my intake all of a sudden? It smells like meat. You think you just own the place? You do like three videos and hey, you think you own the place? You're welcome. I held this for you, bitch. What's up guys, welcome back to Static Works. Today, we're going to be installing camber plates for what car? For my BMW. We'll unbox it right now. It's the new intake. Oh, what's up dude? Thanks for joining us. It's Static Bruce here. We got a new intake. Oh wait. Oh yeah, Danny got a new intake. It's Check like it out. It's all that weight reduction. Cause he stole it. I decided to get the Godspeed camber plates for the front. Um, I wasn't sure if they were gonna fit the ECS coilovers that I have installed, but I contacted ECS and they said they should fit. So we're gonna be attempting to install these so we can actually camber the front just a little more to fit wider, to fit wider spacers on my car to fix this garbage fitment, bro. Look at that, bro. One finger? That is not acceptable. Oh, bro, do you want to show them the new the new grill we got? What? The grill. Yeah. You can play the harp on it, bro. Are you ready? I decided to get the black grill gloss black from eBay for, I think it was like 20 bucks. I'll leave them down below. It was, I mean, I guess it was pretty cheap quality, but it works. I don't know if I like it yet. We're going to be jacking up the car, which is probably the most annoying part and then we're gonna be putting on jack stands taking off the wheels and then taking off the whole coil over we can probably just do it inside the wheelbase but I'd rather just take it out to show you guys the whole process and how to properly do it after you remove the wheels you want to remove the nuts on the top strut which are going to be 13 millimeters as you can see these are the ECS coilovers and this is the nut that connects to the end link. We're gonna be removing that. Now that we have the coilover out of the wheelbase, just make sure not to pretty much pull or tug on any of the brake lines. We don't wanna take this out. It looks like too much work because it's not coming out and we don't wanna fuck with it. But as you can see, it is using the top OEM mount and there's a nut right here that we're going to have to remove while holding this middle piece so once we hold this that should come off and then we should be able to remove this top mount we are going to be using a vice grip to hold the middle piece while martin uses a 22 to remove the top nut this is going to be the old top mount and this is the new one as you can see it does hang a lot lower which is going to drop our car just a little bit and it's gonna be able to play with some camber. Obviously, this looks a lot better. So this is going in the trash. Just kidding, we're probably gonna keep it just in case we ever go back to stock. But now we're going to be installing this on the top, which literally just goes on top like this. We hope so. There. Should be plenty. Now that we're done, take the vice grips off. Be careful not to pinch your hands because I always pinch my, my hands right here. And then we should be done. Now what you're gonna want to do, it's able to play around. Um, you're gonna wanna remove these nuts, which is gonna go right here. We're gonna be replacing the OEM nuts. No! Oh! You're gonna fuck up with Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh! So we just finished up the driver's side of the uh, camber plates and um, we have everything bolted down. There's the three bolts here and you can see the plate down there. And then now we're just coming over this side here. Finishing up, just adjusting the camber on this side. Hopefully everything's okay. <laughs> but we're gonna be testing it. Obviously, we have to put the wheels on and then jacking it down to see where it, where it sits. With the camber plate on, to adjust the camber, all you have to do is loosen these two bolts on each side. You're gonna want to kick it that way because when you kick it that way, it's obviously gonna kick it, kick the bottom out towards 
you so obviously it's gonna camper negatively and then if you wanted a caster you're gonna have to do it that way but so it's almost like it's um, a camera like it's opposite when you're yeah. adjusting it yeah so that's what that's what we're going to do and then see how everything fits hopefully it doesn't camber too much because that's really not what we want to do we just want to play with it to run a different spacer setup so hopefully we can do that so what happened bro well uh we tested out the fitment turned on the cars turned the wheel and this is obviously lower we found out that because the camera plates are a lot shorter than these they're probably about i don't know half this amount that it sits lower and because of that he rubs a lot a lot now that we have everything installed i am going to end this video but as you can see my car is really low so it does hit when i turn the wheel the coil clearance like bruce i think bruce said it before it actually doesn't hit i used a credit card and it moves with the suspension obviously so it's not going to hit the wheel so I'm just gonna have to raise it up a little bit and then I should be good. Then I'll drive it around. Hopefully it rides at least how it used to. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys on the next one.